Well, Aaron, Seacliff State Beach received the brunt of the storm damage in the state park system here. Now, crews have been trying to get the upper hand on it, but there's plenty of work to be done before this park reopens. This is not your average drive through the park. Campsites filled with sand, a small sinkhole, and a giant tree trunk from a slide have settled in the camping area, and huge logs have torn up fencing. Divers expected damage to the pier, but results have yet to be released. Yeah, we moved some significant uh, slides out of the way at Sea Cliff. We still have a lot of debris. Um, soils are very saturated, uh, and access is very limited. This sinkhole we showed you two weeks ago, located at the entrance to the park, has become a major problem. It rests between the sewage line that serves most of this community. We had to take action to save our sewer lines. Um, it is a state park owned drainage system, but we, we had to take action. Since word about the status of the cement ship has come out, there's been an increase in visitors because of it. Hundreds and hundreds of people. Last weekend we set up in the parking lot and over the weekend we probably talked to about 500 people. And those are just the people who had questions, not, let alone the additional people were taking photographs. Despite being in pieces, the cement ship isn't going anywhere and lots of people are turning up at the visitor center to learn more about its history. I was in Kauai on vacation when I heard about this and it's a little heartbreaking. The upper portion of Seacliff Park has reopened, but it'll be left to Mother Nature as to when the lower section will. Uh, really, it's going to be weather dependent. And there's a little story about the tree that behind me. It, it was taken down today. It used to rest to my left. It's been there for years, but Old age fought, finally caught up to it. It had to come down because it threatened to fall under the stairway that's behind me. Reporting live at Seacliff State Beach, Phil Gomez, KSBW Action News 8. Well, it happens to all of us sooner or later, Phil. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, we did have a little break from the rain today, but we got, we got more coming. Uh, yep, we do. Yep. We're yep. Head and over. you know what? There's a, lot, there's a lot of problems on 17 right now from the information I'm getting. Oh, not again. Friday, Here we go. Yeah, yeah, either shut down or just completely backed up. So I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this a bunch more times. You folks need to slow down, and I mean really yeah. slow down. I don't care if you drive a BMW or truck, all-wheel drive, what kind of tires you think you have. You need to take it way slower than you have been. So many folks have been injured on that road, and uh, the folks that haven't been injured have been inconvenienced in a major way. So please do yourself a favor. Leave three car lengths between you and the car in front of you. Do not tailgate and slow down to about half the speed limit. If you don't think that's you and you have the skills, you're wrong. No, you're no match for Highway 17, let me tell you. We don't want folks dying on that roadway because it's sprinkling out, okay? Anyway, let's get to the weather. Uh, we have had some rain, but it wasn't a lot, and it wasn't mudslides that are causing issues, right? So it's the drivers themselves. So factor that in uh, to your morning commutes when you go out. Leave early and go slow. Half an inch, a three quarters, almost an inch up in the higher peaks in the Santa Cruz Mountains. As we said, these systems would focus on the Santa Cruz area and not the valleys and not the peninsula. And that has been the case. We did have some wind, of course, across the area. Uh, looking at the valley locations, 0.07 in Salinas, 0.09 down in King City. So barely uh, any rain for the valleys at all, more or less just a couple of spits here and there. A third of an inch in San Jose. They got some of the heavier showers coming through and 0.08 in Hollister. The peninsula picked up anywhere from about a quarter of an inch or less. So it wasn't a big rainmaker, but again, soils are saturated. That's why it doesn't take that much rain or wind for us to have some issues. Radar showing that the front was approaching last night, really in the middle of the night, wee hours of the morning. It was coming through during the morning commute. It did rain briefly heavy for a little while, and then it was gone. It pushed off into the Central Valley. We had some leftover showers, but as Dan said, there is more rain coming for the weekend. We'll talk when and how much in just a few minutes. All right.